It is Monday morning, 6.53. Want to recap some of your top stories. Overnight, we've learned former Rhode Island Governor Lincoln Chafee yet again poised to run for president. Now, I News has learned Chafee filed the paperwork to launch a 2020 presidential campaign. This time, he'll be running as a libertarian. Now living in Wyoming, Chafee previously ran a failed bid to earn the Democratic presidential nomination in 2016. Three Massachusetts mayor elects are going to be sworn in today. Paul Coogan will be taking over in Fall River after a year of controversy surrounding former mayor Jason Correa. Sean O'Connell was elected in Taunton after former mayor Thomas Hoy was appointed to a uh, different position in the Baker administration. She will become the city's first female mayor. And then John Mitchell, he's been reelected in New Bedford. It will be his first four year term. The Iranian general who replaced Qasem Soleimani is vowing revenge after Soleimani was killed by a U.S. airstrike. Last week, President Trump doubled down on his threat to attack Iranian cultural sites if Iran retaliates. So far, Iran announcing it will no longer be bound by the 2015 nuclear deal. The skies over Australia red as the deadly brush fires continue to burn right now. 146 fires are burning across the state of New South Wales. 65 of them not contained. Meanwhile, state of Victoria declaring a state of disaster as they battle these massive blazes. 100 years ago today, the Ocean State ratified the 19th Amendment giving women the right to vote. According to the National Park Service, Rhode Island was one of 36 states to help ratify the amendment. And today, Secretary of State Nellie Gorbea will be hosting a celebration of this centennial at the State House Library starting at 10 a.m. And those are your top stories on this Monday morning. You can always check for updates on our news app and WPRI.com.